thing we need to do is disconnect the battery. So now we have to take the air box out. So you have to disconnect that hose clamp, remove that bolt, and remove this connector. Just uh, loosen it. Yeah, don't take it all the way off. So to get this sensor connector off, you have to pry up very gently right there. And now the lock is disconnected and it'll come off. So now that we've got the air box out, you can see these two supports for the electrical conduit that are shot after 15 years of working on this car. So I got some replacements, fix that while we're at it, and also check the air filter. And then the other thing is that uh, while we're at it, just go ahead and replace the accessory drive belt. Okay, so now we have to take the throttle body off. So we have to take these four bolts off. Actually, I'm gonna take that one off down here and disconnect this electrical connector. Now we have to remove this rear plenum. So we're gonna have to disconnect this air hose right here and remove these four hose clamps. So it's all loose now. So we ended up removing these hose clamps completely and then we were able to work that rear uh, plenum out of there. Now we can actually see the starter. So we've got to remove that nut and take off this boot and remove the nut under there to take off the two upper connections. So here's what we ended up with for uh, what to do with socket extensions. So we got a short extension here and then my dad put some shrink tubing around a, a U-joint and then a long extension and uh, see if that, that looks like that'll get the job done now. Now I can reach that, that bolt, no sweat. There it goes. You're going to want to push the push in a little further uh, yeah. or lower the garage door a little. Get it out of the side. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Wow. Okay. Time to put the new one in. You want to put any Loctite on them or not? Now we got all the electrical connections back on and the boot is over so we're ready to put the plenum back in. We got the plenum in there, ended up having to push it straight in on both boots at the same time. Now I've got the boots on there okay. Now we're trying to get the hose clamps back on. So we fitted the seal back in here. Now what we decided to do is to put the outer part of this plenum on and then we'll rotate it to, so that it fits correctly and then we'll tighten the clamps afterward.
question. Eh? So these old conduit holders were shot so it's held on by a Christmas tree so you just have to pry it out and then put a new one in. Okay so while we're at it we'll replace the serpentine belt. Okay. So there. Actually can you pull it off while I'm doing that? There we go. Uh oh. Take it off the top there. So we're ready to put that poly rib belt in there. So and we'll uh, refer to the manual on what that orientation ought to be. Everything's buttoned up. Got the air cleaner box reconnected here. Electrical connection. The uh, wire is back into the conduit holder. This bolt's tight. So it's time to give her a try. It definitely sounds different than that original one. 